Hey guys, my guy here. I am starting off this episode by building a deployer. Pretty sure that's what I'm supposed to make. Um, and I got my little dude right here. So I'm just going to be... Um, what I'm going to be doing this episode is creating a thing so that I can fill up my, my uh, empty cells with water. So that I can make bog earth for days. Alright, that's basically what I'm trying to do here. I can also, in here, set... I need to make another crafting thing, don't I? Um... Okay, sorry about that. Anyways, uh, so I need to put... I need to get a satellite pipe. Sorry about my little sister. She's being loud and obnoxious. Or I could just put another... Another crafting pipe down. Uh, I could do that as well. But anyways, um, what else do I need? I need to make an infinite water source. So I need some tin for some buckets. Let's get two buckets. Sorry about my family, guys. By the way. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do, sorry about my family, they're being really loud today for some reason. Like they keep yelling in the background even when they know I'm making a video. Not sure why. But uh, anyways, we don't need that today. Uh, we need... I don't know why my dad is making so much noise. So, we're just gonna place the deployer right there. And then we're going to fill this up with water. And now we can just get unlimited water out of the vet. Alright. So this thing is going to need to be set up with a crafting logistics pipe. So I'm going to go make one of those really quick. Okie dokie, guys. So we're just going to drop that right there. Um, and then we're going to have it set to... Darn. I need to go grab it me some some things okie dokie and I'm not sure what's going on with the uh, video just cutting out sometimes like on YouTube I'm not sure it doesn't do that when I'm actually like playing so I'm not sure what's wrong with that um, so sorry about that guys anyways let's reach into my duster craft chest here grab some stone transport pipes and then we'll just link it over to here. Because those are logistics pipes as well. So now we should be able to request. Oh. This just decided to just not let any of them go through. Cool. Okay, so we should be able to request water cells now. Let's ask for. Is it. How many do I get with just 10? It's like 16 or something like that request 16 of them request successful so now it should go and take out some tin and then go fill them up with water Let's see come on is it doing it Oh, I don't have this charged. The power. I gotta put a. I gotta put a. That's. I'm just kind of stupid. I need to put a timer next to it. So I'm gonna go make this and then come back. And there we go. That only took me eight hours this time. Not really, but wouldn't that suck? Okay, so let's head down here. And I'm gonna set this to tick really fast, as well. Um. Let's aim it at this. Oh. Um. There we go. All right, that'll work. Got to set this to a faster time interval. As fast as it can work. Oh, yeah, actually, let's move it up a little bit here. Oh. 
one every second. That should be good. And now we can get our water shell stuff. So sweet. Move it up in this world. I need food. Alright. And we can also just put these in here and they'll just get transported over there. I also made another crafting logistics pipe for me to be able to turn sand into glass. So let's go down there while I'm dying here. I'm sure this is annoying, but uh, I'm going to put my crafting logistics... But this is since I don't have a satellite pipe right now, and I don't really want to pay attention on how to make one of those. Uh, this is how you make... Oop, does not turn into 16, to be honest. Turns into 1. Um, and that... That should now accept uh, us making glass. So anything that needs glass... I can also now create, um, we can just ask for like three glass and it'll go and craft it up for me. And there we go. So that's sweet. Um, yeah. All right. This had just finished going and I have some tainted crystals in there. Look at that. Nice amount of these. Oh yeah. And my sword was also uh, done by the way. So now I can fly around. Okay, anyway, so with that. So now I'm happy I can, I can have this thing again. Not sure why my computer's... Oh, you know why it's going really laggy? Because I have so much stuff open. I'll be right back. Thank you, Mr. Spider. That was nice of him to just, to just do that. Um... Darn it! Ugh pissing me off right now. Uh, sorry about this, guys. I honestly do. Um, I really need to get a new one uh, to put in my room, first of all, so I don't have to... You guys don't have to hear my family being all loud. Um, another reason, because I want a computer in my room. I mean, just look, look how bad this is. OMG! <laughs> if you just right click just before you hit the ground, it resets all the damage stuff, and then you're good. Pretty nice to know. Um, so there you go with that. Just cover that up. I should probably put a, just a door there. Um, just to make it easier, but I don't feel like it. Okay, so now what we need to figure out how to force craft is basic logistics pipes um, because I really don't want to have to manually craft them anymore and since now I can auto craft glass and all that stuff I'm also going to need to get started on making a uh, quarry soon um, eventually I don't want to just use one of the regular build craft quarries I want to do a uh, um, what is it I need to make another crafting logistics pipe really quickly. And another crafting table. I'm not sure my TV got louder, but. Because um, I need to. Thank you. Do I have any glowstone? I do. Okay. Let's put that stuff in there. Um, I want it to be able to auto take um, glass I mean uh, I need to get like hmm, what is it it's um diamond transport pipes that's what it is I'm not really gonna be able to test it out because I need diamond gears which I also don't have where's the transport pipes Diamond. Oh, actually, it's only two diamonds and glass. So, do I have two diamonds? I don't think I have any diamonds. I don't. But you know what I can do? I'm not sure if I put diamonds in there. I hope I hope I did. Because I can just quickly grab some diamonds with that. Many. Yes, yes, I can. One diamond. 
One diamond down. 82 to go. No, not really. That'd be pretty bad. Alright, I'm pretty sure I'm ready to make a Klein Star. Um, because I'm done with all of this annoyance here. So I'm going to take this. Ditch that. We're going to craft together ourselves a Klein Star Ein or whatever it's called. Yeah, Ein. Uh, and what you can do with the Klein Star Ein is take some fuel here or whatever you want it to do. Um, just burn anything. And you can put the Klein Star in there and it'll absorb all of the energy. And it'll make it so you can turn fuel into anything that you want, bricks, anything. So you don't have a have you don't have to have a lock on it. As soon as you put it in there there is a lock, but then you can take it out and put it back in and then there isn't. So I can just get get diamonds from fuel and stuff like that. And this is just to get a couple of diamonds. So I can teach my uh, crafting table thing how to craft diamond trend support the pipes because I'm it's kind of necessary just kind of all right so we go get that um, I only have one diamond I asked for two diamonds Don Don the internet oh, actually wait yeah I need two be right back and I got myself another diamond. I'm also going to be starting my whole crafting stuff soon, guys. So not my crafting stuff. My, uh, my whole fifth them to do all of the quarry stuff soon. So don't worry about that. Okay, so now let's open this up. And we need to put a diamond here. Nope, actually, I'm incorrect. It's one diamond. I'm kind of dumb. At least I think it's one diamond. I hope. I'm, I'm not even sure. I don't even know anymore, guys. I just don't even know. Where's my glass? How my glass was kept in. Is it in this one? Is it in this one? It is in this one. Okay, then. It might actually just be one diamond, and then glass around it. No, okay, good. I, I thought I was going to be wrong there. Okay, good. Whew. Almost incorrect. I don't like being incorrect. So there we go. Now we can have it auto-get those for me. I'm going to go get a bunch more things, and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. Redstone torches. Diamond transfer pipe, glass, set that in there, import that, and there we go. Now that can basically, that legitimately can all by itself create it can just go ahead and go up here, craft myself eight of those and I'm missing gold and iron and all that stuff because I need to go mining. So I'm gonna do that for a little bit, guys, and then I'm gonna come back. Okay, I went mining and I got a lot of stuff, like a lot, a lot of stuff. So I'm just letting everything sort through here. Um, letting everything get in here. I got four diamonds in the run down there. Um, I shouldn't be, I'm on, I put it on hard, I'm not sure why. Oh, it's because I was dying, so I just wanted to just die instead of, like, jump and kill myself. But anyways, I need to get a better extractor pipe because those are starting to make me mad. Uh, I mean, uh, module. Okay, quick sort module. The diamond gear. Diamond gear. So I need to use all of my diamonds to make one of these quick sort modules. Well, it's already all of them. I do have five of them, but it's not going to get the fifth one to make sure everything can stay in there. Okay, give me a, give me a gold gear. 
Darn it, come on. Let the go Where'd the gold go? Where'd my gold go? Speed this up a little bit here. This, this is why, because I need these things to just extract all of it out at once instead of just a little bit by little bit. It's making me mad. Okay, is there anything else that's going to go in there? My iron just like disappeared. Where did all of my iron go? What is that that's smelting in there mysteriously? I'm so confused. Why is there no iron cooking and where did all my iron go? Darn it. I hate when this happens. Maybe it's down underneath. I can go check. I'm going to go check down underneath because I'm not sure what happened to you. Oh, there it is. Ugh, grab it all. This is set to default. Oh, it's not. Let's set that to no. Okay, that's better. That shouldn't accept anything anymore. All right. Everything back in there again. Everything should get sent out. Sent up, up there, and now it should be smelting up. And I'll and those went back there. Okay, good. Okay, well I'm gonna wait for all this stuff to just smelt up, and then I'll be back. All right, finally. I get to make myself another diamond gear. Let's see if I have one of these. I don't. I need to make another one of these blank modules. So I need six paper, one of these, and redstone. There we go. Sort, lapis, redstone. Three, three, just like that, I think. No, wait, actually, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like this. The heck, I gah. Um, wait, like that. There we go. Um, there we go. What am I doing? Yeah, I need four lapis. What am I thinking? I was so confused. I was like, wait. It's incorrect. <laughs> there we go. That's better. That's a quick sort module. All right, so we're gonna use it to do this one right here because this is the important one. Quick sort module. So it should just it should generally just know where to go. Hopefully, um, iron should all just extract out of there at once. Hopefully, maybe not. Huh. I don't know. Drop a tin in there. It's only going to turn into one piece of dust, but I want to see if it extracts it. That. Doesn't seem to want to extract it. Oh wait, side right? 
Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I can't use this. Huh. That's unfortunate. Pretty sure it's because I can't, like, set a direction for it to come out. That sucks. Well, I can use that for something else then. Alright, I'll be back. Actually, let's go check out Thomcraft stuff. Check out what's going on in here. Oh, so we got some, some fragments of knowledge and whatnot. Let's get some more paper. I have lots of tin and tin dust and iron dust and all sorts of crap. Okay. Let's um get this paper. Put the paper right up in there and we'll wait. This is black crystal. There we go. Oh, we got boots of the meteor. Oh snap. That's the final upgrade from the for these boots. And Charm of the Dead Hard difficulty. That's a lot easier than Torturous. So I guess we'll go with that. And we're going to put away Boots of the Meteor because uh, that's going to take a little while for me to get to, to that level. I already had Boots of the Meteor. Uh, no, I just got Boots of the Meteor. Let's see. I've lost of Charms of the Dead, which, which I'm glad that I finally get to uh, finally get it. I'll be back as soon as this is done. Okay, so I went out and got a uh, zombie brain because I really felt like uh, trying to get something from that, but nothing. So, Discovery, Charm of the Dead. Let's check it out. Um, distorted Skull and a Zombie Brain. The foreboding charm warps the mind of unknown creatures, making they ignore you and turn on their fellows. Keep in mind that it can wear out and will be destroyed over use. Okie dokie, I got a fragment of the lost knowledge, and that turned into Thomic Enchanter with tricky di with difficulty tricky, so that's sweet. Not usable for me. I need to take all these and I want to research them all. Because I can. Though it's not much of a more of a success. I need to do it with put them somewhere and I feel like doing this to them because I can. So if you guys are enjoying my uh, series here, can go ahead and give me a like. Uh, it'd be greatly appreciated. Um, I work pretty hard on these uh, videos. Um, and I make videos all the time. Anytime that I'm not busy, I'm making a video. Uh, so yeah. And I've been very busy lately and I'm amazed how many videos I've been able to post because I've literally been like practicing all the time for my band because we have a show this Saturday. By the way, if you live in the uh, New Hampshire area and Sweet Boots of the Meteor and you uh, like uh, punk music or you like uh, hardcore music, uh, send me a New Hampshire area, uh, like around Milford, Peterborough area in uh, New Hampshire. Just send me a message on uh, YouTube. You probably don't, but you know, just in case you do, I can give you uh, a show that you can go to. Um, so yeah. But uh, if you go into the description of this video, uh, a link to my band's page will be right down there. Uh, you can, if you give me a like, that would uh, on that band page, that'd be amazing because uh, I've we've been working really hard and whatnot. Um, we're gonna record. Uh, we're going to get our music recorded soon, um, so if you guys give it a like, it'll let you know whenever we post uh, our music up. So I'll be back when this is done. Alright, look at that. Done. Boots of the Meteor. Fiery Crystal Blaze Powder. These boots allow their wearer to make impressive leaps and bounds if shift is held at sufficient distance. While a sufficient distance from the ground, the boots will hurl themselves and their wearer down with considerable force, causing a shockwave of blistering heat. Alright, I want those. I have a fiery crystal. Do I have any blaze powder? I don't. I can get some really quickly. Um, let's see. Let's see if this gives me blaze powder. I think it does. 
No. Does that give me blaze powder? I'm guessing it probably does. Let's just drop this in here. Come on, blaze powder. That's all I need. I just need blaze powder. I think it's bef there. It is. That's what I need. Let's put that back and retract that to that thing. Okay, we're all good. So that's all we should need. We have my boots. We need the fiery crystal. Alrighty then. So fiery crystal boots blaze powder and that will start taking like everything out of that and I will get the boots of meteor I'm a little bit scared about these things just a little bit um, let's put that in there see if I get anything from it and I got charm of vigor which is another one of those stupid charms that I can't get Let's see about this one. Be back. Fragment of lost knowledge. Let's see if we get anything from it. No. All right. Well, we go put this away, and I'm gonna go test out the boots. Let's go test them out. I'm scared how fast I'm gonna move. It said if I'm considerably above the ground or something like that, then it'll do some sort of fiery thing. So, I'm guessing I can jump pretty high up. Alright, let's check this out. Oh my gosh. That looks awesome. Ready? Rawr! Oh jeez, that hurts me. But it's pretty awesome. Ah! <laughs> Die! That's awesome. That's sweet. Okay, so now I have um, some amazing boots, which obviously are going to wear out. Um, so that's epic. Really epic. Um, I don't know if there's anything else I can uh, I can craft in Thomcraft as of right now. Thomic, Thomic Enchanter, Thomic Enchanter, Tremor Vigor. All these things are torturous because I need, like, a uh, brain in a jar, which are expensive. So, yeah. Anyways. Let's, let's see, guys. Let's see what's going on here. We got... Is this stuff still going? Probably not. I probably have all that stuff in here now. Not sure what else I'm going to be doing. I got 68 iron in there now. Sweet. Sweet. 19, 19 gold. I have gold dust in there for some reason. Um, anyways, I guess... I guess that's, that's it. I can I can give this guy some apples because I have, I have some apples somewhere. I thought I did at least. Maybe I don't. Oh, maybe I ate them. That's probably what happened. Oh, no, they're right here. There we go. Let's give him some apples, because he's hungry. Alrighty then. There you go. You enjoy those. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Oh, never mind. Wait. Wait a second. Got a couple more fragments of lost, of lost knowledge. <laughs> never know what they could be. Actually, I'm pretty uh, certain about what they're going to be. More than like the Charm of Vigor or <laughs> Thumber. And they're all going to be impossible difficulty. Okay, we got nothing. So that's going to be the end of the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Peace.